Hey guys, it's KDK here and I'm here with Mara Paladin by uh, by Ender. So this is really popular leg right now and I would say it's one of the strongest decks there are right now. I would say it's like a definite tier 1, I mean a lot of people are having really insane win rates with it. It's really fast, really good against control with the inclusion of Divine Favor which really punished these control decks having more cards than you have. And you're basically finishing with these uh, Megazor buffs or Blessing of Kings. I would actually cut one Blessing of Kings because I've been just playing right now. I've played five games and I was against uh, five different types of warlocks so I just want to get one spellbreaker instead of blessing of kings right there just because of that I mean I honestly think this is quite the important uh, part of airstone if you like play a couple of games and you see a lot of warlocks you should definitely think about like getting this for for the silences you know if you silence void lord and just get leader to it it's really good so I guess that's like enough for the talk and we can jump to the games and actually see how the deck will perform. And guys, definitely check out a giveaway that I'm doing right now on my channel. It's really easy to win something to the Hearthstone, some card packs. So definitely check it out and let's play. Jaina should be a really good matchup for us. If it's a classic secret mage. I don't think we keep any of these. Yeah, we just wanted to get like a rock pool to this hand, that would be really good. Silence is not really useful in, in this matchup, I would guess. Alright, let's, let's just play it with tight collar. And hope that we eat our deck uh, to drop a rock pool. Alright, so that's not a secret mage. That's. I guess that's not really a good, uh, good thing for us. I think we, we would rather face secret mage because we're really favorite in that. I don't really think we're favorite against the uh, control mage. I mean, like are they playing this in secret mage? I mean, not this secret mage in control mage. Seems really weird to me, man. I wanted to get uh, noble sack, but I guess redemption will do is fine. I don't really want to coin anything yet because I'm really confused about what kind of deck is that. Because I actually seen Secret Mages playing Frost Nova. Alright, never mind. He didn't even attack face. I'm really thinking about silencing that. On the other hand, we have Divine Favor in hand. So maybe we will be not that disappointed if he is going to draw. I like this play. I can do this trade. Yes, this is good. Next turn probably just empty our hand even more. Man, he's actually playing kind of cold. What year is it, man? I think we can be a bit greedier with the Megazar and just buff our Murlocs. Hopefully they will stick. I mean, he can play Blizzard or Meteor's Fury. But I think he could play Meteor's Fury the previous turn as well. That's Meteor. Mm, 
What the fuck, brother? <laughs> I don't understand this. Is he set up for Blazer next turn? Yeah, I think he I think he is. Wow. We need a good hit though. Something like plus health or divine shield. So if we go plus three health, this dies to flame strike, this this dies, this dies, this and this. I like divine shield more. Just because I'm expecting some kind of AoE. Also it's good if we tap that crawling blade, it's like Oh man. Job done. Job is done. Oh, I guess. Yeah, flame strike kills it anyway. But that would happen in both cases, even with the plus three health, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would. I mean, yeah, playing against these decks is really fun and interactive for sure. Yeah, we can just fill the board and hope that he doesn't have a Wii. And next turn we can go for some sneaky lethal with Soundkeeper, Terum and War Leader. But something needs to stick, of course. But I mean, he played AoE three turns right now, so... I mean, he's just got something from the cliff, uh, of course. Let's draw. Alright, let's play this and another Murloc. The buffed one. I think we actually just buffed this one. On the other hand, he shouldn't have AoE, right? Yeah, let's move this one. So he, maybe he doesn't have it. Frozen Snow Woman, that's bad as well. Wow, did he actually pick Shatter Man? I was thinking about silencing my own tight caller, uh, but I don't really like it because he played only one Doomsayer. I'm pretty sure that he runs that he runs Polymorph, so let's just play Hydrologist for for something like Noble. Yeah. And let's try to fill the board again. And do something sneaky with Sun Creeper Term. I think that that's actually our best uh, win condition right now. Or getting a Megasaur as well. Or I mean playing Sun Keeper plus, mm, plus Megasaur would be really awesome. Wow. I think has this has to be oh no. 
Yeah, it's bad that he didn't trade. I mean, I should probably adapt this, right? I like the dash rattle a lot, actually, just because of the Sankripitarium. Yeah. I think we're just punching face. I think that's ice block actually. Or maybe maybe ice barrier. I mean actually we have almost full board, so I don't really know how are we going to play some keeper. <laughs> I mean why? That's really weird for sure. We can just play this and have lethal. We don't need to do actually anything else. Wait, it could be Ice Barrier, right? So let's try with it. Yeah, that was just straight up misplay. Because we can really reach him, but if we if we went for this play we could. And that's really unfortunate. Yeah, that's really bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we should have proc Nice block this turn. Yeah, I didn't think about the ice barrier at all. Even though it was kinda obvious. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, maybe he doesn't have... I guess it's quest mage without quest. Oh my god, and... And I didn't pick eye for an eye. Oh my god, this match was just wrong. Oh my god. I'm almost out of cards. That was so bad. Let's try to debate him that we have I for an eye. Actually, wait a moment. Yeah, now, now he thinks that we have the eye for an eye, man. Yeah, the only thing we need to do is proc him at one. We can do this. <laughs> because the Napa sacrifice didn't proc right this turn. That's actually really funny, man. I mean, he will try it anyway, but like... Yeah, I guess...
I mean, is he clearing? He's freaking clearing. Wait, 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 wait. What is he doing? Oh my god. I, I just won that game. I just... I mean, what the hell was that? I mean, I was actually favorite in this for sure, just because of the fact that I can't get the eye for an eye. But actually, I just really realized that That it's a quest major actually. Uh, but he was really debated because like... <laughs> having the secret on means... That he's going to lose, because he cannot heal up. Oh my god, that was one of the best games ever, man. Because, oh my god, he added me. This is going to be fun. Alright, so... Huh? Uh, it's not working for me, I don't know why. Yeah, he just wrote me that lol. Thought is eye for an eye. Yeah, I tried to... I tried to bluff. And it won me the game. Alright, so we're against Rogue. I honestly think it's probably Miracle Rogue. I don't think we even keep a Hydrologist because it's not really something we want to actually play on turn 2, I feel so. I mean, we just want to get the perfect curve, which is 1, 2, 3. Yeah, something like that. King's Bane rule, alright. I mean, unless he... Unless he gets like, Reaching Poison early... I guess it's still doable. I like winning this out. It's really good because we have a follow follow play with the rock pool. And then with Megazor. I mean yeah, and that's it. And that's just the end of the storm. Yeah. I don't want to play Warlidro actually. I think this is better. Because he is going to use the last charge here and. My mother does love Whoa. Yeah, I think we're just playing War Leader and this. And just everything fries, brother. Yeah, be my guest, just get your three healing and let me kill you. <laughs> yeah, we still have to make the sword. Backstab. Interesting. Mm. 
I actually have more cards than you. Alright, so we just flee the board, man. And we just probably play a sound keeper. Is it lethal? Yeah. But I mean, he's probably going to trade at least one of these. Why not trade this one? I think we should go for Megazor to try to find a little, I guess. For sure. Plus one one is not a little. But it's good enough. Got her. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This was actually a really interesting game. It's a... I mean, for quest mage, Murloc Paladin is a really bad matchup. Uh, just because it's really aggressive, right, by itself. It's aggro deck. And probably you can just uh, out-tempo them a lot. But in this case, if you are playing the Hydrologist, you can get the eye for an eye. And if you proc them at one health, they will just you know, die to eye for an eye if you get it, because they will just take the one damage and ice block won't help him. And like, this last moment, this was really good, man. I know that I shouldn't concede. Because uh, the moment was exactly when he attacked to the taunt and the Noble Sacrifice didn't proc because the board was full. So he was, I'm pretty sure he was uh, like, yeah, this is not Noble Sacrifice, I just lost the game. And he was fireballing the minions away, man. A really good game. Uh, definitely don't forget to check out uh, the giveaway, guys. The link is in the description. A lot of prizes to win for free, so why, why not, right? Alright, see you guys.